we're going to focus on the um, shape builder tool, which is fairly new to me. Um, I don't use it a lot, but again, depending on what you use Illustrator for, it can come in really handy at times. It basically just is a quick way to combine um, multiple shapes into one. So, for example, um, we're going to start with a cloud and just bear with me here. Um, first, I want you to go up to your menu and make sure that your smart guides are on. Make sure that check mark is there because it's going to be useful in this tutorial. And we're going to start with the line segment tool and you're going to click, hold your shift key down and get a nice straight line segment. Um, make sure that your stroke is uh, at least two points. It, it just makes it a little easier aligning things if it's a little thicker. Uh, mine is at five right now. So we'll get this out here in the middle and then we're gonna go use our ellipse tool and holding our shift apple or shift control alt, we're gonna make a circle that aligns with our line segment. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna bump it up there, move it over so it aligns. There we go. Okay, did you see what, what I just did there? I'm holding the shift key down and dragging it over until my little line pops up. The intersect, that means it's fully intersected with your line segment, so that's what we want. And then holding the shift control alt down again, you're gonna click and drag, so you're gonna make a copy of your circle over until you hit the intersect line on the other end. Then we can be a little bit more loose. Um, we're just gonna click and hold and make another duplication of this circle and we'll duplicate it again. We're gonna be creative. Think of the outline of all these shapes as your cloud. And then I think we'll do one more here and then we'll kind of give it a bigger shape so it ends up a little bit more cartoony. Just make sure that your paths cross over. Yes, yes, um, and I'm gonna make this stroke the same as the other one, so I'm gonna make it five. And then you are gonna drag and select over everything and go to your um, shape builder tool and then you can see without even holding anything down you can see how the insides of my shapes here are kind of illuminating so what we want to do is click on your first shape and hold your mouse down as you drag you'll see your you get a little line and you see the red outline is your combined shape so make sure you get all those little holes get through the holes and then get down to this bottom space. So you can see the red outline around the shapes is gonna be my final shape. Now all I have to do is release my mouse and boom, we have our cloud. And if you look at the outline view, you just have one path. You can fill it, you can stroke it. Um, you have to go back to your selection tool in order to change the color. Um, we're gonna kind of round out those corners that's on. And then we're going to change the fill and let's do a gradient. And make it radial. There we go. You can play around with that. Make your cloud nice and pretty. Um, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate one more time. We're just going to make a really simple Mickey Mouse head shape. So we're going to start with the ellipse. We're going to draw the head. Let's go back to a stroke. Bump it up. Doesn't have to be that thick. Okay. And then the ears. We'll start with an ear here. Probably needs to go a little higher. And I'm going to hold my shift alt control so it's nice and even all the way across until I hit the intersect. There we go. Why does that not look even? Let's make them even. Uh, there. Okay, then select it all. Shape Builder. Click and drag. Release. And there's our Mickey Mouse. We can round out the corners and the stroke palette. 
So yeah, there you have it. That is the shape builder tool. Um, super simple. If you have questions, of course, my email is always open. And um, until next time, I will talk to you later and have a great week.